first. The park boasts many colorful birds among its residents, including Chilean flamingos, sacred ibis, and African spoonbill. But now a new species with a heavyweight reputation has come to the park. These African white-backed vultures are nature's ultimate airborne scavengers. But sadly, they're now classed as vulnerable in the wild. There are five males and five females, which the team hope will breed. For now, they're being kept in temporary winter quarters, while outside, feverish work is going on to finish their enclosure. Head of section Mark Tai is in charge of the birds. He wants to make sure they have enough space to fly freely. For 10 birds with wingspans of up to 10 feet, that's a lot of space. In just over a week, we've managed to put up all the line wires that will hold up the roof and the, the supports for the main nets. We've put all the nets up around the back of the enclosure and now we're finishing off along, along the front here. And then the only thing after that is the roof. The roof is going to be one big section that's going to have to be pulled up and over and to the back, which is going to be quite tedious and time consuming, I think. Okay. The new enclosure is going to be the size of six tennis courts and as tall as a three story building. With the sides finished, it's time to heave the roof into place. Keepers from all sections of the park have come together to help. The netting weighs almost a tonne, more than all the construction team put together. It's made using heavy-duty fishing net, heavy enough, Mark hopes, to resist the vultures' sharp beaks. Until we let them out, we won't know what's going to happen. I mean, you know, the net's thicker than the flamingo net, but at the end of the day, they've got a big hook beak. If they want to chew through it, they'll chew through it. So. It's going to be a bit of an experiment, you know, if, if they want out, they'll get out. So we just hope that they'll be happy enough in there and they won't attempt it. One of the challenges for Mark is to provide the vultures with a home that's as close to their natural habitat as possible and full of interesting features to keep them occupied. Trees in there with perches, we're going to put a lot more up. This is not the finished product as regards perching just yet. A pond for them to bathe in. They do like washing and sunning themselves afterwards. Um, and the only other thing really is the house we're going to have built over there, which will sort of double up as a winter quarters. If the weather gets bad, we can hopefully get them in, into there. And also when we first bring them up, we'll just be able to put them all in there and just let them out a couple at a time. I'm really looking forward to them coming out. You know, it's going to be great to see them out, out in a sort of big enclosure like this. I just hope they'll sort of use it and fly around a lot in it. We'll be back to see what the vultures make of their new home.